Bordetella pertussis, Wikipedia article audio. Bordetella pertussis is a gram-negative, aerobic, pathogenic, encapsulated cocobacillus of the genus Bordetella, and the causative agent of pertussis or whooping cough. Unlike B. bronchoseptica, B. pertussis is not modal. Its virulence factors include pertussis toxin, filamentous hemagglutinin, pert actin, fimbria, and tracheal cytotoxin. The bacterium is spread by airborne droplets, its incubation period is 9-10 days on average. Humans are the only known reservoir for B. pertussis. The complete B. pertussis genome of 4,086,186 base pairs was published in 2003. Pertussis As a zoonotic disease Pertussis is an infection of the respiratory system characterized by a whooping sound when the person breathes in. In the U.S., it killed between 10,000 and 20,000 people per year before a vaccine was available. Vaccination has transformed this, between 1985 and 1988, fewer than 100 children died from pertussis. Worldwide in 2000, according to the WHO, around 39 million people were infected annually and about 297,000 died. A graph is available showing the dramatic effect of introducing vaccination in England. B. pertussis infects its host by colonizing lung epithelial cells. The bacterium contains a surface protein, filamentous hemagglutinin adhesin, which binds to the sulfatids found on cilia of epithelial cells. Once anchored, the bacterium produces tracheal cytotoxin which stops the cilia from beating. This prevents the cilia from clearing debris from the lungs, so the body responds by sending the host into a coughing fit. These coughs expel some bacteria into the air, which are free to infect other hosts. B. pertussis has the ability to inhibit the function of the host's immune system. The toxin, known as pertussis toxin, inhibits G-protein coupling that regulates an adenylate cyclase-mediated conversion of ADP to cyclic AMP. The end result is phagocytes convert too much ADP to cyclic AMP, which can cause disturbances in cellular signaling mechanisms, and prevent phagocytes from correctly responding to an infection. PTX, formerly known as lymphocytosis promoting factor, causes a decrease in the entry of lymphocytes into lymph nodes, which can lead to a condition known as lymphocytosis, with a complete lymphocyte count of over 4,000 slash muel in adults or over 8,000 slash muel in children. This is unique in that many bacterial infections illustrate neutrophil predominance instead. The infection occurs mostly in children under the age of 1 when they are unimmunized, or children with faded immunity, normally around the ages 11 through 18. The signs and symptoms are similar to a common cold, runny nose, sneezing, mild cough, and low-grade fever. The patient becomes most contagious during the catarrhal stage of infection normally two weeks after the coughing begins. It may become airborne when the person coughs, sneezes, or laughs. Pertussis vaccine is part of the diphtheria, tetanus, and acellular pertussis immunization. The paroxysmal cough precedes a crowing inspiratory sound characteristic of pertussis. After a spell, the patient might make a whooping sound when breathing in, or may vomit. Adults have milder symptoms, such as prolonged coughing without the hoop. Infants less than six months also may not have the typical hoop. A coughing spell may last a minute or more, producing cyanosis, apnea, and seizures. However, when not in a coughing fit, 
the patient does not experience trouble breathing. This is because B. pertussis inhibits the immune response, so very little mucus is generated in the lungs. A prolonged cough may be irritating and sometimes a disabling cough may go undiagnosed in adults for many months. Uncertainties of B. pertussis and whooping cough as a zoonotic disease have existed since around 1910, but in the 1930s, the bacteria were found to have lost their virulent power when repeatedly spread on agar media. This explained the difficulties in reproducing results from different studies, as the pre-inoculating handling of the bacteria were not standardized among scientists. Diagnosis At least some primate species are highly sensitive to B. pertussis, and develop a clinical whooping cough in high incidence when exposed to low inoculation doses. Whether the bacteria spread naturally in wild animal populations is not satisfactory confirmed by laboratory diagnosis, but whooping cough has been found among wild gorillas. Several zoos have learned to vaccinate their primates against whooping cough. A nasopharyngeal or an oropharynx swab is sent to the bacteriology laboratory for gram stain, growth on Bordejengu agar or BCYE plate with added cephalosporin to select for the organism, which shows mercury drop-like colonies. B. pertussis can also be detected by PCR which is more sensitive than culture. The primers used for PCR usually target the transposable elements IS-481 and IS-1001. Several diagnostic tests are available, especially ELISA kits. These are designed to detect FHA and slash or PT antibodies of IgG, IgA, or IgM. Some kits use a combination of antigens which lead to a higher sensitivity, but might also make the interpretation of the results harder, since one cannot know which antibody has been detected. The organism is oxidase positive, but urease, nitrate reductase, and citrate negative. It is also not modal.